Welcome to the training course on IBM Scalable Architecture for Financial Reporting, or SAFR. This is Module 17, Format Phase Views. Upon completion of this module, you should be able to describe uses for format phase views, read a logic table and trace with format phase views, explain the function codes used in the example, debug format phase views. The prior modules covered the function codes highlighted in blue. Those to be covered in this module are highlighted in yellow. The format phase is the final possible phase of the performance engine processes. Views that require only extraction and no sorting or aggregation are completed at the extract phase. Any view that requires the following must continue to the format phase. Summarize records. Use output record filtering, which is applied after records are subtotaled. Produce sorted outputs. Create delimited files and make hard copy formatted printed reports. The format phase is run after the extract phase, GBB MR95, has completed extracting all the data. The GBB MR95 extract engine performs function one event or transaction record at a time. Records are evaluated for inclusion or exclusion in output files. Fields are extracted and used to build keys for joins, all one record at a time. Except for extract time summarization, which will be discussed in a later module, GVB MR95 does not produce summarized results. You may remember that in Module 10 we discussed summary reports. These reports aggregate detailed records to produce summarized results. Even detailed reports can include subtotals, which are the results of summarizing many detailed records. To perform these functions, the format phase engine, GVB MR88, is required. Extracted data is passed in a specialized format called the SAFR standard extract file from the extract phase to the format phase. Creating this format requires unique logic table functions in the extract phase. In this module, we'll focus on these format phase logic table functions and introduce the extract file format. The extract engine, GVBMR95, is a parallel processing engine, yet the format phase, GVBMR88, is not. It processes only one extract work file. Yet the extract file can contain the extracted records for multiple views. Each GVBMR88 execution can produce multiple extracted files. The final output for each view is produced by only one format engine execution. In this example, the extract file on the left has the extracted records for views 2, 3, and 4, while the one on the right has the records for view 8, 9, and 10. The GVB MR88 execution on the left produces the outputs for view 2, 3, and 4, while the one on the right produces the outputs for 8, 9, and 10. As previously mentioned, GVB MR95 creates a specially formatted extract file, and there can be one or more created based upon how the data needs to be processed. The extract file to be used by each view is assigned in the view parameter screen, the extract phase tab. The extract engine concatenates the assigned number to the value EXTR with three digits representing the extract work file number, beginning with zeros if necessary to form a DD name to be used. It also concatenates this number with the value sort to write the parameter specifying how the views should be sorted. This example uses extract work file number one. The extracted records will then be written to the file assigned to DD name extr001 and the sort parameters to sort001. These two files must be passed via the JCL as sortin and sysin files respectively to the format engine gvbmr88. The format phase extract record has a standard format for all views. This specialized format allows for very efficient processing of format phase views. The extract and format engines have clearly defined functions such that steps are not repeated between the two engines. The extract file format prepares the data to be sorted and summarized. The records contain the following segments. The control area contains values that describe the rest of the record, like the number of SAFR view columns on this record and the length of the sort key. The last field in the control area is the view number. The sort key, or SK area, contains the value the user has specified the output file should be sorted and or grouped by. 
The data transform or DT area contains alpha and alphanumeric and numeric column data that is not used in a format time calculation, including subtotaling or format time selection logic. The calculated transform or the CT area contains column data that is either used in format time calculations, including subtotaling, or format time selection logic. The sample data is shown in hex mode. The first row of the display format and the next two lines show a half byte each, first the top line and last the bottom line. This shows packed and non-printable characters. In this module, we'll use the view shown here as the example view. This view includes a simple lookup for a record level filtering. Record level filtering does not affect the format of the extracted records. This view has seven columns. The first three columns are sort keys, highlighted by the yellow sort key indicator. In other words, the view output will be sorted by the values in these three columns. The records will be sorted first by the format field in column one, then by the store ID value in column two, and finally by the gender code in column three. We know this because of the one, two, and three showing the sort key positions. Columns four and five contain data that requires a calculation. In this case, they are to be summed to produce totals for a change in the sort key value. Thus, the data required for these calculations will be placed in the calculated transform or CT area of the extract record. Columns six and seven are date fields which are not used in a calculation. They do not have format phase filtering logic, subtotals, or any column calculations. The data for these columns will be placed in the data transform area, or DT column area, of the extract record. Note that the view columns can be constructed in any order needed for the final output. The columns will be reordered ordered into either sort, DT, or CT columns in the extract file, but then will be reordered for the final output at the end of the format phase processing. This is the logic table produced by our sample view. The first function in this view includes record level filtering, which tests a join to ensure only records that are found are included in the output. Sort columns, which populate the sort area of the extract record, use SK functions to move a selected fields and constants to the extract record. These functions follow a familiar pattern. SKE functions move data from the event file to the sort area, whereas SKL functions move looked up key values and SKC functions move constants. The sort sequence number is shown in the sequence number column. In this example, the first column is a constant value SKC, sort key constant. This places the constant TRN01 in the first pos sort position. Because this is a constant with no logic function, all values on the output file from this view will be the same. Column 2 moves the store ID field from an event file field using an SKE sort key event file field function. Column 3 moves the gender code, either an M or an F, from the customer file through a looked up value using the SKL sort key lookup field function. Note that the entire length of the sort key area is 9 bytes, also indicated in the logic table by the SK length comment on the NV row. Calculated transform CT columns also follow the same pattern. Constants are moved via CTCs, CT column for constant function. Event file fields use the CTE, CT column from event file field function, and looked up values using the CTL, CT column from looked up field values. Our example view contains a constant value with the CTC function for column four. This is a record count adding a value of one to each record. Column 5 is an event file field value using the CTE function the, for the order amount. It does not contain a looked up CT value, so no CTL is shown. Note that the final two columns containing our data transform values use DT functions to populate the extract record. Both these columns are the customer date of birth.
Note that the WR or write function also changed when writing to a standard extract file. Instead of a WRIN function to copy the input record to the extract file, or a WRDT function to write only the DT column values to the extract record of the output file, the WRXT function writes the entire standard extract record to the extract file. The sequence number following this information contains the file number and the extract record should be written to. In this example, the extract record contains the control area, sort data, 9 bytes in length, containing TRN01001M, two dates in the DT area of the record, and two CT columns containing packed data. This record is written in this instance to extract file 1. Next, we'll examine the logic table trace and the extract record as it is built. When processing the first record, the logic table trace shows the results of these logic table functions. In this example, the SKC constant value of TRN01 is stored in the first position because it's the first sorted field. The event file field value of 001 is stored next, and the looked up value of M is stored after that. If we had simply changed the sort key order, the value shown in yellow in the columns, such that the gender code had a number one as the first sort key, format had number two, and store ID had a number three, the position of the values in the final output file would not change. But the order of the rows in the file may well have changed after being sorted. This is because the file would have been sorted first by gender code then by format, and last by store ID. Thus, all F values would, have, would be at the top of the file, file, followed by M values. To accomplish this, the gender code would have been moved to the first position in the extract file for sorting. The format engine would have moved this value back to the ninth position in the output file. The extract engine formats CT data into an efficient format for the calculation of the format engine. This format is a packed 12 bytes, which can hold 23 digits. The last eight digits are always fixed decimal points. The value is also preceded by a binary half word, two byte, containing the column identifier. Column values of all zeros are not stored in the extract record to conserve space and processing time. Because of this, sometimes no CT data is stored for a specific column. Thus, all CT columns are on the end of the extract record, allowing the record length to vary. In this example, the constant from the CTC function of 1 with a lot of zeros is stored immediately after the binary column identifier of 4. The event file field value from the CTE function of 58.25 is stored immediately after the binary column identifier of 5. The DT functions move data into the space between the SK area and the CT area. These functions were used in the earlier module explaining the extract only view with the WRDT function. The WRDT function only writes the data in the DT area of the extract record. Data is moved to the appropriate area of the extract record no matter the order of the logic table function in the logic table. For example, if the first column of the views are CT columns, the CT area of the record will be populated. In this example, the two dates are moved to the DT area of the extract record even though they contain only numeric data. CT columns are reserved for columns which require calculations subtotaling or format phase selection logic. Numeric data simply placed in the output file are placed in the DT area of the extract record. The WRXT row adds information to the front of the extract record. This includes total record length, length of the SK and DT areas, counts of the CT columns. These control fields are used by the format engine to process the extract record. The last field in this area, just prior to the SK area, is a binary version of the view number. It is stored as binary to conserve space in the extract file, optimizing I.O. and storage. The view number is multiplied by 2, 1 added and then converted to binary. 
Thus, in this example, view 143 times 2 equals 286 plus 1 equals 287. Converted to binary is 11 fox. This formula allows a header record, discussed later, to be sorted to the top of the view. In standard mode, the extract engine does not perform any summarization. Thus, as event file record 2 is read and passed record filtering, a second extract record is written. If only one view is running, the records will be written in the same order as they are in the input file, which may have no relationship to the required sort order for the view. If more than one view is reading the selected records from the event file, the second record may be from the same input record extracted for another view with completely different view sort criteria. The end result is that the order of the records in the extract file is unpredictable, particularly if you share extract files while running in parallel. Standard extract files, which are those that are processed by the format engine, contain control and header records. Each record contains processing information such as control record counts, the run date, etc., which are used by the format engine. One header record is produced for each view writing to this standard extract file. The view number on the header record is one less than the extracted event record, in this case 11ernie rather than 11fox, thus the formula for the view ID on each extract record. Only one control record is written to each standard extract file. The control record has a view ID of zero. Writing header and control records is to extract files is done if the extract file number is less than or equal to the extract engine JCL standard extract parameter, where NNN is the file count. For example, if five views write to records to extr02 dd name and the standard extract parameter is 2 the file would receive five header records and one control record the extract engine writes records in a random order the extract file is sorted before being used by the format engine the format engine then summarizes like records by a sort key and writes the records in order to the output file the extract file is always sorted by a combination of the view number in the control area of the extract record and the sort key data area. Even though the header and control records are the next to last records in the file when written by the extract engine, the lower view numbers cause them to sort above all the other records for this view, with the control record on the top of the file for the format engine processing. The data in the extract records are moved to the final output columns and formatted correctly, for example by applying mask to numeric data. In this example, the CT data is moved before the DT data and the decimal points are inserted. Note also that in summary outputs, data in DT columns can be unpredictable. If dif different DT values are extracted for the same sort key combination, which value will be placed in the output file cannot be guaranteed. For example, if there are two different dates in the file, 11214 or 415214, either may appear on the out final output record. Thus, summary files only contain sort data and CT data typically. No matter what sort order is specified in the view for sort fields, Saffir always instructs the sort utility to sort the file in ascending order. This is necessary because the mixture of ascending and descending fields within the same view or across different views. To create descending sorted orders, Saffir converts descending sort data in the extract file to its twos complement, which simplifies sorting. When sorted and then converted out of twos complement, the data will appear in descending order. In this example, we change the sort order on the gender code from ascending in the top example to descending in the bottom example. The two's complement of M and F are unprintable characters with a hex value of 2B and 39 respectively. Because 2B is less than 39, the M records move to the top of the file. Thus when the data is converted out of two's complement back to M or F, the file output shows M before F 
a descending sort. Multiple views can share an extract. Multiple views can share an extract file. Because the sort parameters include the view number at the front of the sort criteria through the length of the longest sort key, sorting causes all the records for a view to be sorted together and all records for a view to be placed in sort order specified by that view. The extract engine dynamically builds the sort criteria parameters for each extract file, inserting the longest sort key length for views writing to that extract file. In this example, the file, extract file contains records for view 11F and 22E. The sort parameters are now lengthened to include the additional three bytes of sort key data required by view 22E. After sorting the file, the control record is followed by the header record for view 11F and all the extracted data for that view in sort order, including the gender code. Then the control record for view 22E, followed by its extracted data, also in order by the sort key. To avoid writing the sorted extract file and then reading this file again for summarization and formatting, GVBMR88 calls the sort utility as a sort exit. This allows the sort utility to pass the sorted records to GVBMR88 a record at a time after completing the sort instead of writing them to disk, thus avoiding a pass of the extract file. In other words, the sorted records are a virtual file that is never actually written to disk. The sort utility also prints a control report. This example shows some of the key messages, including noting that the utility is running as an exit to MR88, the sort parameters that were generated by the extract engine, the number of sorted records. Records are deleted from the virtual file by GVBMR88 as it produces the final output file. The format engine also produces a control report at the end of its execution. The control report shows the number of records read from the input file, the number of records written to various types of file formats, the number of records written to view-specific output files. The total records read by GVBMR88 should equal the number of records written by the extract engine. In this example, 12 records were written to the extract file, and all 12 were read by the format engine. The final output file for view 143 was two summarized records. Not all SAFR functions are specified in the logic table. For example, Column calculations using column numbers are not specified in the logic table. Other functions include column spacing, creating hard copy report formatting, subtotaling, and summarizing. All these parameters are passed to GVBMR88 in the view definition parameter or VDP file and performed during the format phase. This screenshot shows the VDP parameters used by GVBMR88, including column definition sizes and formats. This report is printed at the end of the format phase. The highlighted area for column 7 contains a column calculation. The logic for this calculation is column 6 divided by column 5. One last specialized logic table function should be mentioned. The format engine does one type of join for one format of output. Sort title, descriptions of sorted key values on hard copy reports. These GPBMR88 lookups, though, are not multi-level joins. They are simply the last step of the join process to obtain the sort titles. The format engine does not perform any of the LK, LR, LKE, or other functions to do the join. Rather, it receives the fully formed key of the last step in the lookup as an area of the sort key area. Saving this key in the sort key area of the extracted record. The format engine then performs the lookup to find the last step and the sort title. In this example, the KSLK function saves the lookup key of 001 into the sort title key save area of the extract record. GVBMR88 then uses this key to search for customer email addresses to place next to the customer numbers in the hard copy report. This logic table has contained the following functions. SK functions including SKC, SKE, and SKL to build sort keys. CT functions including CTC, CTE, CTL to build calculated transformations. WRXT 
which writes the extract record to the standard extract file, KSLK, which saves a lookup key for sort titles on hard copy reports. This module describes format phase views. Now that you have completed this module, you should be able to describe uses for the format phase views, read a logic table and trace with format phase views, explain the function code used in this example, and debug format phase views. Additional information about SAFR is available at the web address shown here. This concludes Module 17, Format Phase Views.